Hi, I'm Dorsey Diaz. I'm the uh, executive director here at the Sun Gallery. So this is our uh, annual Day of the Dead celebration. Um, I've been the director here for eight years and I'm not sure how many decades this has been going on, but I can say it's been definitely decades. I direct the staff okay. and I, you know, create the programs, the scheduling. Mm -hmm. So uh, this Day of the Dead is always held around the same time every year. And of course, it is because they're the actual celebration that I believe this year was November 1st mm -hmm. um, or 2nd. And But there's a period of days where most um, people that you know celebrate the Day of the Dead will do it for several days at a time. Mm -hmm. and of course, we have the show up for about three or four weeks during mm -hmm. the year. And um, so yeah, this is the first I think Day of the Dead we've had since the pandemic started. Oh, nice. My name is Christine Bender. I'm an artist. Uh, I used to work here at the Sun Gallery for many years, and I'm retired, and so now I'm having a bunch of fun making art. As you can see, I, I use fabric, yarn. Uh, I use um, sequins, beads, jewelry. This, this stuck out right away to me. Just I just like the, it looks like I want to touch it. Uh, do you have that problem with, with people coming in? Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a definitely, yeah, and it's using fabric, and this is an example of how I did it. You, you start out with a rug canvas like this with holes in it, mm -hmm. and long strips of uh, fabric or yarn, mm -hmm. and this special tool called a uh, locker hooking needle. <laughs> right on. And so basically you're pushing this this uh, long fabric into the holes and locking it, in, locking it into place with a piece of um, cotton yarn. So I'll show you some of the artwork. Sure. So uh, this table here is actually an altar put together by uh, Petra Ray Nessa Steppies. Okay. Um, and she collects as you can see, a lot of the different type of Day of, Day of the Dead um, collectible type things. Um, this is not a specific, it's more like a general altar this year, but sometimes they will have altars that will be for specific people or for usually like family members. Um, mm -hmm. Across here, there's an altar that's put together by Peter and Maureen Langenbach. Yeah. This one is our son. This is our son who, who passed, passed away. away. I'm so sorry to hear that. Two recently. years ago. Mm -hmm. Not because of COVID, but because he couldn't get medical attention oh. because the hospital was full. But then, but but beyond getting through the process of grieving, it's it's. I'm an older sister who is a different generation. She's ten years older than I am. She's a, a different generation. And she only sees the skeletons and the spooky stuff, mm -hmm. all that, that yeah. kind of creepy kind of stuff. And we look at, we have them around because we cherish the memories. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and, it, and it's, it's, you know, that, that spooky stuff is not us at all. It's a very elaborate, beautiful altar. Um, this is kind of what they do every year. and. Um, they are artists that have been showing here for many, many years. So uh, they are, are usually in each show that we have. Okay, I'm Peter Langenbach and... Maureen Langenbach. And we put together this uh, this space, this, this uh, um, installation. altar installation. And it is of our immediate families, both her Dylan side and my Langenbach side. And uh, it's piece of people that have passed in our in, family, in our family, and also in the near the the, uh, the recent past. Uh, one of our teachers, actually, she's a teacher and a photographer, and uh, Claudia Schwalm. So she uh, was in the Hayward area for quite some time, and um, she did all these little cool boxes with all these cool little like. You know, if you get down close and you look, there's like little <laughs> sculptures and really cool little um, things from different parts of the world. And she put this all together and it is honoring the artists of Mexico. probably one of 
one of the first pieces I ever did, I think. Maybe 10 years ago. Oh wow, cool. Yeah. Was this Frida inspired as well? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, they're all, right. all Frida inspired. Right on. And this is another piece. Okay. And the reason I did this piece is because when I was a little girl, my grandmother used to make me dance. Mm -hmm. um, Mexican uh, Yep. My sisters had to do it too. Play with fabric and I did, uh, you can see that I did some embroidery on this one. Mm -hmm. So I do like to embroider as well. And then, um, over there, there's actually a coloring table. Okay. Um, we like to put out things for the kids so that, you know, or adults, they like it too. It's like all, that's one of the fun things that I love to do is ask the artist, could you make a coloring page? Mm -hmm. So we have, you know, this idea, or my idea that I would like to do with all of us together is to have like a coloring book. And just for fun, <laughs> Because we love the concept. We love the concept of Day of the Dead. Yeah. In the sense of the honoring, remembrance, and honoring those that passed. My other son, who now is teaching at the American School in, in Vietnam, mm -hmm. anyway, he and his wife had two dogs. Yeah. So it's, it's his, uh, I call it. Gallion. Gallion. It's Gallion. I call it yes. bag, yeah. And the other Gallion. one is Jackson. And the okay. other dog is Jackson. These this year, which are like these little pegboard Day mm -hmm. of the Dead um, hanging sculptures. Great. And as you can see, it's all throughout the gallery, like all on all the walls. Around the place, we, we did. We do a lot of, and re, we do recycled shows. Okay. And back, right across from our taco truck one night, mm -hmm. we, we saw a stack of, of um, pegboard there. Yeah. At some place that was being remodeled. And the guys were throwing them out. And I said, Could I have those? And mm -hmm. they said, Sure. And <laughs> so. We, we took them and uh, um, decided for this show to make a number of pieces for that. And again, that's the whole concept of recycling. Mm -hmm. Taking something that's going to be thrown out or, or, or destroyed or, you know, go into landfill mm -hmm. and make it into something. And yeah. then, yeah. these flowered pieces back here are the outside Gotcha. Of this piece. Awesome. So we and, got to use up everything. <laughs> and, and, so, and when you talk about collaboration, that's what collaboration is. I only saw the heads mm -hmm. and painting them up and doing the flowers in there. And she saw the part, the negative space, the cutout. Mm -hmm. And yep. she said, oh, wow, that really that looks, looks cool. Great. I'm, I'm going to do something with those heads frame. <laughs> Wow. So I did this one. I did this one last year. Mm -hmm. um, last year I decided to work with cardboard. Okay. Um, I said, you know, I've never worked with cardboard before, so I just grabbed a bunch of cardboard together and decided to paint on cardboard. And I also did uh, this is a oil pastel. Mm. Oil pastel in there. And. Um, is it special cardboard, or are you just like getting it from your Amazon shipments? I just went to the grocery store okay. and said, give me some cardboard. <laughs> right on, right on. Yeah, and I tried to make it a little bit 3D effect here. Yeah. You know, this. I wanted to do this piece for the uh, so the kids could see that you could do something easily with mm. recycled, you know. Uh, the, the last day of this exhibit is... November 19th. Right on. And uh, what's the next exhibit? What can we look forward to in Sun The Gallery? next exhibit, well, it's not really an exhibit. It's the Holiday Boutique. It's the first three days of the first two weeks of December. Great. And then in January, at the end of January, we have the 10th Annual Climate Change Show, um, which is going to be really cool because I think we're going to use a lot of recycled stuff. Amazing. To make things, beautiful things. And we also have a tree project that that I just found out about from our councilwoman, Sarah, mm -hmm. who told me that Hayward has an initiative to plant 100,000 trees. Oh, wow. So we're going to really get behind that. So if you want to plant trees, come Thanks. help us. I was a teacher, middle school teacher, for 35 years. I loved the age. I never grew up out of the age. And so I, and that's how my concept of art, what art is, art sharing, mm -hmm. and, and get more people involved, that kind of thing. Yeah. Hayward has one of the special gems of the Bay Area, a small local gallery. And uh, we try, we try and uh, uh, 
exhibit here and do things for this gallery all the time, as much as we can. I, they have theme shows, which we like dearly, which, like the Dia de los Muertos, or the environmental show that they have every year. And so we part, try and participate in as many of the gallery shows as possible.